Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Rising World with yours truly, V Hermit Hood. Um, this is probably going to be the last episode you guys see of this until the new version comes out. So I wanted to come in here and explain a little bit of this to you guys. Uh, first off, and the reason why I'm doing this, it's mostly to do with, um, I kind of want to explain why I haven't been recording this. I want to play the new version of the game um we've had a lot of fun we've built a lot of things i blueprinted everything inside of my world that i could possibly blueprint <laughs> except for the roads of course and i know that the new version will start off is a walking simulator okay i'm okay with that really i am i'm okay with that um can we put that bed right here here we go um, we're doing this legit just for the time being, but whenever the new version comes out, guys, I'm going to, first things first is, I know it's going to be a walking simulator, and we're going to do a little bit of work with that. Now, I did, I was thinking on this, and I was thinking maybe we should start this off by building a haunted castle, or something of that sort, but since we are only recording Rise and Road once a week, um, I'm going to wait and see what you guys think about that, because we have put a lot of work and effort into this world, and to have to, you know, close it out like this, it kind of saddens me. But, on a plus side, everything has been, everything has been blueprinted. Um, I'm, I was happy to meet a lot of new people that came over to my world, no, well, a couple of people came over, built some stuff and things together. We had some fun. We did stuff and things together. And it was, you know, it was really fun. Really, it was. And I enjoyed it. And I thank you guys that all came over to my world and, you know, hung out with me. We did stuff and things together. <laughs> Went on adventures. We tackled some dungeons and did all kinds of stuff and things. You know, it was a lot of fun together with you guys. Really, it was. Um, hopefully, we could do some of that within the new version of the game. But I put myself through a lot of work in this game. And I haven't been able to gather myself back up to come back in here to play it. Or let alone finish what I wanted to do in a while and I've been enjoying playing Minecraft for quite a while and I'm gonna continue to play Minecraft but this is a farewell to our world guys um, maybe if you guys if you guys want to see like a haunted something built before Halloween you know give me a shout say hey look we want to see you build something before um, before the new version you know Give me a shout, say, hey, look, we want to see this, and we'll build it. I mean, we did some really nice pawns together. We ended up with 318 subscribers. Well, it did jump to 324, and then they all mysteriously disappeared. Well, not everyone, but a few of you disappeared off of there. And losing some more here and there, you know, it just kind of bums me out after a while. Um... I was building houses for each one of my subscribers, and I said I would do that, and I kind of just lost track of what I was doing, and I never came back to the world, because I started getting some comments from here and there about the performance of my computer, because I don't have the best computer in the world. Well, I'm sorry that I don't have the best computer in the world. It's not like I can go pull one off a shelf of a store and bring it home and say, yay, we're good to go. So, yeah, that happens. Um, I kind of let some comments get to me and... And when they get to me, they just really climb underneath my skin, and I just let things just drag and drag and drag and drag, and, you know, I don't know. But one of the first things I want to be able to do once the new building, once the new game is out, guys, is I want to... I want to get my roads back up and running, and I think we're going to spend a little bit of time to actually get them completed. You know, put the <laughs> actually put the lines in it. Um, 
then we'll start putting the houses down and building some houses and you know we're, we'll just start getting things back up and running so there'll be there's going to be a lot of creative mode stuff going on in the first beginning of the world when we get started up okay it'll be a walking simulator for a bit i will be turning a lot of things off like god rays fog everything um is like i said i don't have the best computer in the world and i aim to probably just continue on with that same thing um this thing right here it's been blueprinted um hello I can't remember why I called you this, but uh, you don't have anything inside your pouch. I can't seem to find my gun anywhere, so I figure we just walk down here. This right here, our little lighthouse project, this is really nice. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to with the new version of the game, guys, is the ability to paint things. Um, that's going to be really cool. The ability to paint things. The ability to place things. If this thing will ever open up, I'd like to look and see if our rifle is inside of here. There it is. I was looking for that. And do I have that on my head? Yes, I do. Alright, so yes, we do have this on me. Are to reload or is it already loaded? Yeah, it's loaded. Okay. So we will be doing a lot of creative mode stuff right off the bat. Um, just fair warning, guys. We will be doing a lot of that. Um, three, maybe? There we go. Get that out of my hand. Um, we won't... Maybe we'll stick without doing the uh, biome stuff temporarily. But... Like the docks and things that I had going on. I'm very thankful for the big ship that we had put in here. Um, the houses and everything that we've done. We built a house for Smiler Sabercat. We brought things in here from other places. We were rebuilding the beachfront over here. Um, we got a nice dock over here. We were going to do something over here on this side. I never got around to this. But this beachfront, guys, I think this looks wonderful. Um, all except for the dock system, which I never got around to doing. <laughs> or completing, for that matter. So, yeah, that happened. Um, too many projects. I overburdened myself, and I never got finished. Um, this right here, however, this thing turned out terrific. Um, we actually completed this one. And it turned out really, really nice. Um, I'm, ha I'm happy with the way this thing turned out. And I think this is what we're going to do from now on, guys. Is we're going to start little projects. We're going to complete them. And then we'll move on to the next one. Um, Post-apocalyptic world. We're going to stick with that theme with the next one. Because with the way everything looks, it's... With the new world, guys, it, it just looks wonderful, and I'm excited with it. I'm looking forward to it, and I don't know about you guys, but it just looks wonderful to me. But the only thing that wasn't completed inside of here was the guts of this, which was supposed to go the whole way up. But I, I think we can... You know what? If you guys want to see the inside of this look haunted... We might be able to do that, you know, complete the floor, add some cobwebs here and there, um, maybe add some bandits on the floors or something, some NPCs. Let me know. Maybe next episode we can work on that. Wouldn't it be exactly haunted if we got bandits and NPCs looking like they're fighting it out up in here, but uh, we can see if we can work on that. If you guys want to see this tower right here look like it's haunted, um, let me know in the comments below, and we can work on that next week. Um, that would be something we could do, is complete this tower. Um, it's supposed to be the lighthouse, but the beacon's missing off the top. Um, we'll just say that thing is sitting in the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> 
but this place it's been blueprinted i can re-blueprint it if you guys want to see that added to it um we can do that and i can share the blueprint once it's complete i mean if you guys want this in your world i can share that with you guys um let me know in the comments below i mean i do have a blueprint it up right now but i got a bunch of junk all around the place um also be aware that these uh pipes they extend very deep underground if you guys remember when we were building this we went far deep under the ocean to put these things in and i embedded them into the ground right in here fairly deep they're made out of metal, and it's basically to reinforce it and make it look like it's being held up. It's holding this place up. We probably could have added a little more, like in this place and right in here, to give it a little bit more reinforcement. But I think it looks okay just the way it is. I kind of like it. You know, we put a lot of effort into this. The broken sidewalks, um, you get the garbage on the ground. Um, we even got a garbage can chilling outside for it. The trees, um, we got a life thing over here, lifeguard thingy. <laughs> so if you fall in the water, you know they can throw something out underneath it. Um, just the ground itself underneath here with the broken array of different types of blocks underneath here just all over the place it's got stone it's got gravel we got everything underneath here and i put a lot of work into this and you know as much as i'm looking forward to the new version of the game i'm gonna be sad to see this all go bye byes but uh yeah um this is our bye bye our, uh, farewell to this world guys if you want to see me do more work in that tower up there and make it look haunted comment tell me what you guys think because that does look like it'll be the most suitable location and we'll see what we can do next week all right till next time i'll see you on the flip side and i'll catch you later bye-byes